Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Today, let us let me discuss about metric and imperial units used worldwide. I am a mechanical engineer from India. Hence, my love for numbers and various units and measurements used worldwide is obvious. It is my pleasure to explain you the two widely used units worldwide. As you know, there are two main systems for measuring distances and weight. The one is the imperial system and the other one is the metric system. Most countries use the metric system which uses units such as meters, centimeters, kg and grams. In United States of America, people use the old imperial system in which you can come across units such as feet, inches and pounds. This is a representation of the geographical variation. Here you can see which all the countries use metric units and imperial units. You can see 90% of the world uses metric units. Only USA, Liberia and Myanmar use the imperial system of units. Here is a small conversion table for you guys. Here I have taken 4 imperial and 4 equivalent metric units. The first one is the distance. As you know in USA the distance is always told in miles while in countries such as United Kingdom, India, Australia and Canada we tell the distance in kilometers. The conversion is 1 mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. Similarly, the unit of measuring liquids is gallon in USA while it is liters in countries such as United Kingdom and India. So 1 gallon is equal to 4.5 liters. As far as the weight is concerned, the unit used in metric based countries is kgs while it is pounds in imperial system. Similarly, for height in imperial countries, the unit is inches and foot, while in metric countries, the unit is centimeters and meters. Let me take an example so that you can understand the conversions better. These are the main two formulae that you are supposed to use while converting height. The one is 1 inch equal to 2.44 centimeters and 1 feet equal to 12 inches. I stand for example example 1. I stand a towering 5 feet 9 inches. This is in imperial units. So we are supposed to convert this into metric units. Please observe how I convert this now. So 5 feet 9 inches I need to convert into inches first. So first I will convert 5 feet into inches. As you know 1 feet equal to 12 inches. So 5 feet is equal to 5 into 12 that is 60 inches. So 5 feet 9 is equal to 60 plus 9 equal to 69 inches. Now multiply 69 by 2.54 to get my height in centimeters. So my height is 69 into 2.54 which is 175.26 centimeters. Example 2. Assume you are a tall lady from Europe and your height is 200 centimeters. This is in metric units. So an American will not understand your height straight away. So you need to divide 200 by 2.54 to get your height in imperial system. So the resultant answer will be 200 divided by 2.54 which is 78.74 inches. 78.74 inches we need to convert into feet and inches. So this will be 6 feet 6.74 inches. We can round this off to 6 feet 7 inches. Similarly, you can see the weight example in imperial and metric. Here the formulae that you are supposed to use is 1 pound equal to 0.453 kg and 1 kg equal to 2.204 pounds. 
I weigh 176 pounds. This is in imperial units. So if I divide 176 by 2.204, you get the weight in kgs. This will be 79.85. I can round this off to 80 kgs. Similarly, if a person weighs 70 kgs, the equivalent weight in imperial can be got by just multiplying 70 by 2.204, which will be 154.28 pounds or simply 154 pounds. Now, after seeing this video, I am keen to give you a small exercise. Please comment your height in both imperial and metric units in the comment section below the video. If you have any doubts in these conversions, please feel free to put your questions in the comments so that I can answer you. Guys and girls, there is no end to learning new things. Let us learn and spread knowledge. Please like, comment, share and subscribe my channel. Also, please press the bell icon so that you get notifications to all my videos. With this, you will not be missing any of my new videos. Thank you so much.